Hello everyone, uh, with uh, January 6th just ending, uh, a lot of people are talking about the, uh, the situation at the Capitol in Washington, D.C., and they are talking about Trump. You can see back here, right there, Sweetie P, the little doggy, she's right there. See her? And Chloe, Chloe, come here, come on, come on. Chloe's not gonna move. Anyway, Chloe's there too. She, they both were just resting. We're about to get ready to go for a walk um, here in a minute. But with that, I don't know if that's what sparked the interest in the video that I posted. Oh, well, here she is now. Here she goes. Oh, come on, big girl. Blah, oof. And here's Chloe. Say hi, Chloe. This is Chloe. I love her asking about her eyes um, on some of the videos. They say it's not glaucoma. And it's not cataracts. We would say, is it glaucoma? I think they mean, is it cataracts? Uh, there's been some videos in the past where you'll see, if you search some of the other videos, you'll see where the pups are involved. They are asking me, does she have cataracts? Or glaucoma. I think they meant cataracts. But no, they said it's not either one of those two things. We've had uh, two different vets look at it. And uh, they're just saying this, uh, she can see and she's fine. And why do a surgery if it's unnecessary? Um, it's like people cut the dog's ears or cut the t tail off for looks like hey my 150 pound rottweiler with a long tail and big ears um phew, that's just uh with floppy ears um that's not scary i need to cut the tail off my rottweiler and cut its ears whatever people are stupid um so anyway uh, she's right here again hi sweetheart <laughs> come on but anyway so i don't know if the if the fact that trump is in the news so much right now uh, i guess he is going to run again against Maybe Joe Biden. Is that really the best we can do? I don't know. Uh, I'm not a fan of either one of those people. I am a, a Democrat, but I'm a moderate Democrat. I want to vote for somebody good. I would just want to vote for a really good person. Someone that's going to put it for it. Not a lifetime politician that's done next to nothing. Not an actor, billionaire who uh, is Donald Trump. Um, so anyway, if you were asking me on the naked one, on the video that's me interviewing Trump, this naked interview in Trump, they said I was playing the reporter, the reporter. And they said, why didn't I play Donald Trump? It's Jimmy Kimmel on the Jimmy Kimmel show. I'll, I'll put the link down below if you want to watch it, if you haven't seen it already. But I was naked playing a reporter. We're reenacting a scene. I was playing the reporter and another actor was playing Donald Trump. And we were reenacting this, but we were naked on the television program they were wearing clothes i don't know if it was fox or what station was running that news story but jimmy kimmel's not exactly a fan of donald trump and he said from now on whenever he sees donald trump he wants to see him naked now you think uh, it's kind of gross if you don't like somebody you probably want to see them either fully clothed or don't see them at all but that's a skit you know it's for humor and he wants to see them naked and i'm glad that he did because i got to play the role of the naked reporter i was naked on television on channel 7 out here in los angeles abc huge worldwide people saw me naked so i played the role of the reporter but everybody said hey you know donald trump would have been funnier if you could have been donald trump now the good news here's where the good news is there's a little teeny bit of good news well two good news i got to make this thing i make I make some good money and it was fun and working on the jimmy kimmel show is great i mean if you like jimmy kimmel I'm glad you like him. I, I think he's a nice guy and his show's funny. If you don't like him, I understand, but it's work is work and you make money. So if you say, well, I wouldn't have done that. I don't like Jimmy Kimmel. You probably would. I hear that all the time. I would never, ever do a commercial for Uber. I would never do a commercial for Walmart. I would Yes, you would. Um, so, I mean, those people, I tell them, yes, yes, you would. So this is all about me again. This is my channel. So I will do a commercial. I won't do something for certain companies um, or certain uh, situations. Maybe I wouldn't do it, you know, if it's something that I find wrong. But if it's something like a big mega store, uh, a big box grocery store, a big box department store, big box, whatever these big box stores are, hardware stores, almost everybody I know. I'm, I'm, I take it back. Everyone I know would do that. I don't know about you. I can't speak for you. But they all would do it. If they say, here's this amount of money, you make this amount of money, we want to give you this amount of money, and you're going to pretend that you're going to be pushing a shopping cart and taking items and putting them in there and talking about it for this amount of money when you're only used to making this amount of money, you're going to say, 
It'll give bring on the shopping cart. <laughs> give me that shopping cart. Here we go. Uh, I'll bag my own groceries. Whatever you want me to do, I'll do it. So the reason, here it is, the reason I did not play Trump, I was originally asked, could I play Trump? Because I was on the Jimmy Kimmel show once before. And at that time, I weighed close to, if not, 300 pounds. So I don't know how big Trump admits he's a really, really big guy. You know how, how he, always, he always talks. I'm the best, best big president we've ever had. Anyway, you know how he always talks. So I don't know. Does he weigh over 300 pounds? Is he 250? Does he weigh 110? I don't think so. Uh, maybe his left arm. But I was not fat enough anymore to play Trump. I wasn't fat enough. I'm too small. I wasn't big enough. We all call this not big enough to play Trump. Not big enough to be naked Trump. But I was not big enough. So that's great. Yay, yay. But I still want to work. I've lost a lot of work in acting because I used to be the fat guy. I wasn't the 700 pounder. But I was, they could book me at 300 pounds as the fat guy. Everybody else is 120, 160, up to maybe 180. And here comes this guy at 300 pounds. Ha ha ha, it's always, usually it's used for humor. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's a reenactment or sometimes it's a novel where the guy was a fat person. Maybe like in Robin Hood, you know, uh, the sheriff was fat. Um, I don't know. But I lost a lot of work. And in this case, I didn't lose work because I was able to play the other character. Thank goodness that they were nice to me and I have a good reputation with them and I really like them. Everybody there, um, I, I don't know for those of you who do acting, everyone there is super, super nice. Every level, every single level of the Jimmy Kimmel show in my experience has been great and been very, very nice to me. And that's one of the reasons I really like the show. Uh, if, if you know, everybody has an off night, I guess, and this is a show that I think, ah, I haven't really laughed too much, and then I laugh a couple of times. That's all I need to, 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 to like to watch a Jimmy Kimmel show because they're so nice as, as people. But I wasn't able to play the fattest guy anymore. So now when they say, hey, we want a fat guy, people write me, hey, David, uh, can you do this role? And I look at it and I say, oh, you know what? I, I see this, and you said you want a guy 300 pounds plus. I'm not that anymore, and I sent him photos of myself. You know, I was in the hospital and they thought I was dead. I and mean, people say, oh, that's a terrible thing to say. You shouldn't say that. You're going to jinx yourself into walking in front of a bus or something. But they thought I was dead. Dead. That's why they weren't calling me to book me. They thought, well, I died. They knew I'd been in the hospital. They knew I'd had a, a, a heart scare. And now I was in the hospital again. I wasn't really putting out for work because I was on, uh, I had to do IVs at home for six weeks. I talked about that in an earlier video. For six weeks, I had to do four IVs a day uh, and self-administer those through a pick line to my heart. They thought, ah, he died. You know, I'm, a couple might have been sad. Come, oh, yeah, I remember that guy. He's pretty nice. But they thought I was dead. So now here I come back. I reinvent myself. And I'm at the, oh, wait, now I'm just a plus-size guy. You know, I'm, I'm one, one of the plus-size guys, but I'm not the fat guy. So this situation... They were able to work with me. I worked with them, and I got to be the reporter. I can't remember his name. I need to look that up. If you check the if you check the video down here, and some other videos back here, you'll see me talking about this. I'm gonna look up that reporter's name. But anyway, I was too small. I wasn't big enough to play naked Trump, and that's why. So someone just recently asked me that. I've been asked a couple of times recently. It's really weird. Uh, some people who want to get into acting are asking me, "How do you get on the Jimmy Kimmel show? How do you do this? How do you do that?" And they'll ask me a lot of stuff. And a lot of that stuff, I say, "Hey, once again, this is what I do." So what I did, I don't know if it'll work for you. So I'm, I haven't done a video on how I get acting work. I have been asked to do that. Please let me know in the comments below. Should I do one on acting? I, I made a video called you know, Acting Modeling, whatever. Should I do one, a video on how to do that? Uh, a lot of people are asking me for advice on that. And if the advice is how do I, how do I survive on set? What do I eat? Uh, do I bring my own food? Do I bring water? Whatever that kind of stuff, I can answer those kind of questions. How do I survive on this journey while working in Hollywood? How do I survive this journey uh, while working a side hustle, while doing a focus group or any of the other kind of things I have to do? Working for the United States Census, I work for the Census. How do I eat out there? It's really tough when you're walking door to door, you're burning up a lot of calories and you don't have a lot of time to eat. You know, I found I had to bring food with me, but I can cover that. So anyway, this is why I was not Donald Trump, naked. 
have a great afternoon. It is now Sunday. Uh, we are in, in the first the first week of January's ending of the new year. Happy New Year, everyone. Other videos are this way, that way. I don't know. Um, down below, I think, is where the comments are. So if you have comments, put them down there. Questions, we will be doing another Q&A video. But if you have any questions, put them down below here for me. Please subscribe. Please subscribe and please watch. Please share. You know, they always tell the story that please share the video. Please like the video and please subscribe. So if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. If you like the video, please hit like. If you have any questions, put them down below. I will put a link to the other video um, in the comments. Thank you so much. Have a great afternoon or evening or night or morning, wherever you are.